I can't believe that's actually holding. Now that's in there pretty sturdy too. This is a, uh, the colderizer for a refrigerator. And I've got it screwed into styrofoam. All right, shouldn't bump that too much, but it is. Anyway, moving on. All right, this is actually a, a refrigerator conversion kit that people use in sailboats and stuff like that. So if, if they have like a, just a cold box, like styrofoam, like a cooler kind of thing in their sailboat that you would put ice in, you know, you could convert it into a powered refrigerator. And that's what I've got there. So I made this here styrofoam box. I made this like two years ago or something. And this has been sitting on a shelf the whole time. So this is one of the pieces and it's got this I'm gonna to have to bend that and make it connect with this part over here. It screws up into there and then, uh, this is a bunch of junk. Uh, I wasn't sure where I was gonna put my refrigerator, so I put it on top of a cart so I can wheel it around wherever. And this is just a styrofoam box made out of some, I don't know where I got the styrofoam, but uh, spray foam glued it together. And I've got a lid here. Wait. Oh yeah, here's here's my notch for right there. So I'm thinking that condenser is gonna go on top here. So I'll cut this, so I'll have a door that opens most of the way, and just that part over here. I mean the other way of doing it is to like cut out a chunk here, which I could do. But I've already made the box and I don't have any spray foam here and I think it'll be fine up here. So yeah, this thing's a little beat up, but it should be all right. Uh, I'm thinking I put an extra piece up here for the other equipment to be on top of. And then I'm going to, I don't know, how wide should this be? I just found <laughs> this piece of styrofoam was just this wide, but that looks about right, whatever. And let's cut the door right at the edge of that. <sighs> Wait, I might want it to come under here or I might want it to come out a bit. So I have it out a bit, I could put some kind of good tape on here and make a hinge. And if I made, if I cut it right flush with this and put the tape here, then it would come up, it would only be able to go up 90 degrees, and if it accidentally got pushed more, it would start pulling the hinge apart. So I either want to leave a little bit more or a little bit less. I don't know, I think I just have to pick one. All right, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna cut it under here. So. Ah, I cut that at a bit of an angle, so this piece can come in. And, yeah, I don't know. That goes there, and that goes there. Yeah, All right. So my plan with this is to just be really careful with this for a while. See how well it works. And if it works amazingly well, I'll probably make like an aluminum, aluminum box for the inside here. Maybe a stainless steel outside. I don't know, but right now I just want to try to make something that functions. See how it goes. Okay, that comes out, connects to that thing, so that connects there. Pretty much all I have to do is connect these to here, which means bending this ridiculously long copper tube. I don't know what to, I guess I'll mostly just leave it coiled around and just, I don't know, get them to here somehow. This is gonna look like a lunatic's refrigerator. Okay, I gotta be super careful with this because one kink in this tube and the whole thing doesn't work. Off, on, really cold, really cold, really cold. Not so cold. All right. Seems like I should put this this way. But I think I might want to put it this way. All right. Oh wait. Um, nah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, beauty. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. And this little wire, all the wires can go. 
This wire is useless because I'm plugging into the 24 volt, which means I connect this, I think. Okay, I think we're gonna keep this thing over here. Doesn't matter where this is. Connections look good. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, it's doing stuff. That sounds like the right sound. Do I dare check for coldness? All right, let's give it a minute. Ooh, no, I can feel like getting cold right now. Ooh, excellent. Oh yeah, that is getting cold for sure. Oh, wow, that is cold. Ooh, wow. Oh yeah. Wow, this thing barely uses any electricity too. It's after five o'clock, which means I'm getting almost nothing from the solar panels. I'm getting a tiny bit of electricity from the solar panels. Um, and I'm at 26 volts. When the sun is completely down, I'm getting nothing from the solar panels. This always goes down to 25.5. So that means this is using less electricity than I'm getting from the solar panels and they're getting almost nothing. That is great. I think I, I think I read the thing, it said 40 watts, which is beauty. I still got it on my cart, which means I can wheel it out of here and sweep under whenever I want. Yeah, let's just check our wires. Nothing's getting, well, it's only 40 watts. It's only one amp going through these wires. It shouldn't be heating up, heating up at all. Oh, this is, uh, wires I have coming from the battery so I can connect any 24 volt stuff here. Although I just covered it with these wire nuts, but whatever. And it's just little stuff like a fan and whatever. Oh, I think I'm supposed to insulate this. Yeah, cause it gets cold. Oh, well, I don't know, this part's warm. But yeah, that one's warm. Okay, the part going in here, yeah, that's, that's not even that cold, it's cool. Right, let's just check inside again real quick. Oh wow, that is, that is really cold now. Oh, you know what? This probably doesn't change the power usage. Yeah, this is just change the, uh, when it turns off. Let's turn it all, all the way to, to super cold and just leave that for a few minutes. I might want to get like a towel or something and just drape it over this since I don't have any seals in here yet. But other than that, it looks pretty good, man. In fact, I would say this might be the coolest refrigerator I've ever seen. Look at this cool stuff up here. It's got a big coil of copper wire up here. All kinds of crazy stuff and like a sideways thing and a little light and this should be getting warm. Yep, that's getting warm. Lots of ventilation for that since it's just outside. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is great. You don't feel anything? That's because this is the outside of the insulation. The cold is inside the refrigerator, right? Yeah. Touch this part very carefully. Don't move it though. It's cold, right? Here, I'll pick you up. Come here, I know you can't feel it. Superman. All right, Mr. Short Arm. Give me. Wow, that's cold. Yeah, that's cold. Me. I wonder if... Oh, here, let me put your... Oh, you're wearing boots. Let's take your boots off. I want, I want you to put your feet in there. Can you feel how cold it is? Not. Okay, ready? Yeah. Are your feet cold? Yeah. Here, touch that. Touch that thing. It's cold, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's working pretty good. Can I put that all right, all right, come here, I'll put you in. I can't put you right on it, because, I mean, you could probably hold your weight, but I don't want to risk breaking it. This feels cold down in there? Can I do it again? Well, that's really cold. No, no, let's put the, let's, oh, yeah, I can totally feel the cold air in there. Oh, I want to climb in. Oh, this is so nice in here. Can I do it? Okay, let's let it, let's let it cool off more. Well, put your, put your hand in one more time, and then we'll close it. Yeah, yeah. My feet. No, no, put your put your hand in. Don't drop your armor. Pretty good, eh? You feel the cold air in there? Yeah. All right, let's. We don't even have anything to put in it right now, anyway. 
Just testing it out. All right, get your hands on here. But partly I want to see how much electricity it uses. It looks like it's doing a really good job. Hey, take your boots. 